It looks like it's balding, just like me. Perfect. We're gonna be balding together. It was a typewriter noise? Yeah, it was a bit sharp on the... A bit sharp on. I don't think I need... More, more HE. I feel like if I'm engaging planes, half my belts being HE is good enough. Yeah, we'll be playing the Lux today and tomorrow. We'll probably get it spaded by tomorrow. These things usually don't take too long. Speed! Forward momentum! Come on! It's a sure remaster of all videos. I really like them. They're kind of cool. Do, 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 do. All right. It's got good maximum speed, it looks like, or good, not great acceleration at the moment, but that's actually really good for a stock vehicle. Means the acceleration will be sorted out later on. Oh, shit, there he goes. He's even brought it. Oh, fuck. He's even brought a bike. Just in case the wheels fall off. There we go. This thing goes 90 kilometers an hour in reverse. It has like, I'm guessing it has a dual drive, right? Oh, look at that. It's pretty coolly modeled. There's a lot of vehicles like that in War Thunder now. It's kind of cool. Ooh, come on, big boy. Get moving. What I like about ground vehicles, the mobility improves a bit. More stuff you research in it. Makes sense, and it's nice to see. Cool little detail actually matters. It's not just uh, ground that does that too. Aviation is is crazy when it comes to it, and naval is also the same. Like there, there's there's a few modifications in naval that make a huge difference to the mobility of your vehicle, and not just like top speed, right? But mainly turning and acceleration. So like going, changing from forward and backwards. But in air, it's probably the most noticeable. Because when you have a vehicle without stuff like engine injection, or if it has like high octane fuel or something, it's an insane boost in performance. Like it's crazy. That's why I've always said that when it comes to certain things, it is worth, um, it would be worth actually reducing the modification like weight of a vehicle. The one I remember the most was uh, stuff like the Sea Fury. Looks like they're all going into Bravo. Yeah, I think... Probably gonna use this as an AA. And holding flanks until we get the DM-63. And we can start being a bit more mobile. Finally got the boosters for the F-15C. Lord, it make a difference. The boosters make a huge difference, yeah. But you have to be careful about, obviously, breaking your vehicle. But I, I feel like they made it easier because the, they made it so the instructor was slightly better. So people didn't, you know, smash themselves up. Hey, Shadow Rage, nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing good. Oh, okay, we're good. Hopefully everything's all right. Non-pen? Come on. It's an SU-100, man. What are we doing? Okay, we got the gunner. Nice. So many guys are bravo. So the interesting thing about this vehicle is that it actually does better in an up tier than a full down tier. In a full down tier you get 6.367s, six, but well, the vast majority of the vehicles are heavies. That's what we kind of found with the simi. Still die to ARHs a ton, though, before I can even see anyone. It's not too surprising, right? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to sit down at some point and, and learn how to do that stuff. Nice, first kill, let's go. Agreed. Right. 
20 millimeter H trap is so terrible. I can't even pen an XMA 100 and a Fox from the back side and back. You should be able to. The um, the Fox has funny trolley armor. Uh, it actually has more armor than you think, but you should be able to pen it from the back. Are the AP are the AP DS ain't that bad. <laughs> Let's move around. Oh, here they come. Does this, uh, what's the reload on the belt on this thing? 9.2 seconds, alright, quite long. Yeah, we have good old Bryce, uh, who turns up. Bryce is our uh, Eastern correspondent uh, from the east of Canada. He's a fisherman. And a Hoi 4 competitive player. And by competitive, he achievement hunts, basically. Anti air patrol. Let's go. That's three dead. Oof. That's the way to do it. Get the triple strike in. But the problem is, I, I can't get involved in the central area. Because they're all just heavies, so... Just don't have enough pen. I don't... Like, with this guy, right? The Jumbo? I don't think I'm able to, uh... To actually pen him. But it also let me get some Russian ships to go farther in the naval tree and the Levad. Oh, that's fun. I enjoy playing the Levad. Like, it, it's it's one of those that has a lot of cool features on it, you know? Damn it. Not good enough. Needed the DM. Oh, please, ME262. Nice. Let's go. God damn it. Two crits. Didn't get a... Didn't get a severe damage. Don't know what I knocked off. Oh, I think he's going down, though. <laughs> Alright, that's four air kills. This will be very good for the parts and FP. Hey, Holy Rune, nice to see you. Thank you, brother. As always, big hugs. Hopefully you're doing good. Happy weekend. It is time to relax. Time to enjoy. Time to chill. Damn Vod's Deka. I can't even pen that with this damn thing. Luckily, I didn't die though. Just learn the conquer shell ejection and stab? It does, yeah. The stabilizer is super powerful. And the shell ejection looks really cool. How did I miss the Vod's Deka scout? Did I screw up like the, the touch? Cat's not over here. Need to run. Any heavies, I just... I can't do anything about, so... All I can do is really scout and hope for the best. Oh! Well... I don't got no parts, so looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a while. 
Oh my god. We're basically just anti-air patrol at the moment. Only 250 rounds, that's a bit sad considering the XM800. Another 20s have an insane amount. I agree, yeah, 250 ain't a lot. But, yeah. It has, it has 500 overall. So it's not that bad. It's just, mate, what? It has it has 500 overall, so two sets. Okay, there's another one. Let's just keep knocking down planes. Keep bringing. Keep shooting. Oh. Ah. They knocked out my damn engine again, man. Come on! I'll take you all on. I need ammo. <laughs> I get, this thing doesn't get the ammo box. Sad. Oh, boy. There's another one coming in, too. Oh, and oh my god, come on, move! This is all we got. We got about two horsepower left in this thing now. Jesus wept. Oh! Got him. Let's go. Oof. Come on! Get moving! <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. I had to kill eight planes, and there's even- there's still more in the air. Like... Oh, we made it up to 20. I'd say this has been a very, very positive first game in the looks. I can't be mad with uh, eight air kills and uh, two deaths. <laughs> there were still some planes, but you know, I feel like we did our job in this one. We're finally allowed to repair. Oof. Don't think you'll see many games with eight air kills. But it kind of shows how many, how many uh, vehicles are being spawned. The good old uh, Cass on the brain. Right, let's get some ammo, just in case. I want to see how much RP and SL we get from this. And this is a fully stock vehicle right now, so. I'm hoping we get a decent amount of RP. Maybe we can get parts FBE and then another mod. True, the trailer put us into the zone. We're ready to go. We're motivated, aggregated, in the zone, ready to go. one of us oh make it number nine have you ever seen nine air kills in a match Crazy. Ten air kills overall on the team. Flipping heck. Ah, 10k mod for it. Alright. 
Almost a nuke with only air kills? Yeah, it's crazy. 10k is gonna get us pretty far, I think. Oh, I hope so. Made 90k a cell, only 4k to the Osa. Very sad. But what can you do? Destruction of aircraft only gave us 722. But then you have like the crits and the, the hits, so technically it's more like 2000.